So, I want to talk about hatred and intolerance. I was watching a new TV show called The New Normal. It's about a gay couple that are trying to have a baby. And they were in a store and they were talking to a couple that walked up to them because they were kissing with a little small child and said, please don't do that in front of us because our child, we don't want them exposed to that. And I don't want to have to go home and to explain it to them. Well, the whole scenario was a setup for the gay guys to feel as if there was something wrong with them. Even though at the end of the show, there was a little bit of acceptance by someone in the show, a character who is not tolerant of gays. During the show, there was also an altercation between one of the couple with a guy at the gym who was talking about someone with Down syndrome and called them retarded. This guy punched the other guy in the face because he called the other guy retarded and the Down Syndrome guy turned around and said to the gay guy that hit the other guy, I can take care of myself, fag. Okay, here's the problem. There should not be hatred. There should not be intolerance for anyone that is not like you. We are all different. If we would stop judging other people for not being exactly like us, we would spend a lot more time working on ourselves and making ourselves better. I spent the entire last year trying, striving, and hoping to be happier than I was last year. Because last year on October the 21st, I wanted to commit suicide and attempted it. And only because of a dear friend who called me in the middle of it did I not? I am thankful today that I did not do that because I have learned more about myself and life in the past year by taking chances, by leaving Mississippi, by taking chances in a new place, by experiencing more hatred and intolerance than I thought I would in Mississippi. I've experienced more hatred and intolerance from gay people in Illinois than I've ever experienced in my life. And I'm not saying that it doesn't exist all over the country, but what I'm saying, I've personally experienced it. A very dear friend of mine committed suicide this year in April. He gave up, and I hate that he did. But the one thing that I want to share with you, I will spend the rest of my life fighting, living, having hope and faith, and never giving up. Because life is beautiful, I am beautiful, you are beautiful, God made us beautiful, whatever and whoever God is to you, you are beautiful. Do not let anyone stop you from what you want in life, and don't let yourself not feel that you are worthy of anything that you desire. And please, please stop judging other people and hating other people because you don't understand them. Take the time to stand next to them and say, hey, tell me more about you and what you're going through so that I can understand. I love you all. Smile and get happy.